Alright, so the next part of the challenge is more of the same. Um, basically we want it to move right and left, but we also want it to move up and down. We've already got code that makes it go right and left, so we don't actually need to change this. What we do need to do is we need to try and add to it so that it does what we want it to do. Um, it's quite simple here that we can see that we've got an if statement that pr checks for a key press and then it does a certain something. So quite obviously what we're going to need is something very similar. So I'm going to drag two more of these if statements in and I'm going to go to the sensing block and I'm going to drag key presses in as well into both of these. So the sensing um, up for a particular key. Um, now I'm going to go into the motion and I'm going to this time, because I know it, X is this way, or right and left, but the Y is the up and down. So I'm going to do the change Y. Um, if I can find it, change Y, there it is. I'm going to put that in here and put another one, change Y, in here. Now, if I think about this, if I'm my value is 180 when it's up high. So if I press the up arrow, so I'm going to change the space to up arrow, I want the value to go up. So changing Y by 10 should be OK. So if we do the down arrow, where we want the cat to move down, then we need to take a number off of the Y. We need to make this smaller rather than bigger. So again, minus 10 should do it. Um, and give that a go. You can obviously use a different number if you want. And I'm going to hit the green arrow just to check. And I can go up, down, right, and left. There we go. That is nice and simple. We're using four um, chained if statements to do action upon the motion, the X, or the Y based on a key press. Very simple. And that's the whole of the second part of that challenge, number five.